three, two, one, mark. T minus four minutes and counting. Three fifty five. Ground pyros enabled. Headed for a launch time of twelve twenty five. Three minutes. Securing LO2 toppy. Atlas takes to flight pressure. 250. Yep, just internal. Two minutes. Vehicle internal. 155. Launch sequencer start. 150. Securing Centaur LH2. Securing Centaur LO2. 140. Launch enabled. At uh, T-minus 25 seconds, we'll get the final go from both Atlas and yep, Centaur. Yep. Flight termination system is armed. One twenty. Orc is armed. FCS count started. One fifteen. Reduce ECS for launch. Roger. One ten. Vent valves locked. T minus one minute and counting. Forty nine. T minus forty five seconds. Stable at step three. T minus 30 seconds. ECS reduced for launch. Roger. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. 20. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition and liftoff of the Atlas V with Juno on a trek to Jupiter, a planetary piece of the puzzle on the beginning of our solar system. Picture our roll program is in progress. Vehicle body rates look good. Booster P has gone to fixed angle strength. Mr. B chamber pressures have plateaued. Ground rolling off. Signatures look good. RD-180 operation looks excellent at this point. Mach 1. Mr. B chambers continue to roll off. Max Q. Boosters throttling up. We're on schedule. Engine response looks good. Mr. B has gone to closed loop control. Looking for our 
SRB throttle down momentarily. Engine continues to operate well. And booster has throttled back. Looking for SRB burnout soon. Chamber pressures have plateaued on the SRBs. And we begin to roll off. And Boda has been satisfied. Vehicle is starting back up to full thrust. And we have solids 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 jettisoned. Visual indication that all solids have separated well. And the booster has begun its roll for spacecraft thermal constraints. Rates look good. Bus and battery voltages are stable. 